The vascular exercise stress test can be very helpful for differentiating true vascular claudication from pseudoclaudication. It is recommended for patients with resting ABIs are in the normal range of 0.91 to 1.39, but who exhibit symptoms of PAD. Compliance with CPT code 93924 requires a motorized treadmill exercise. The test fundamentally involves taking the ABI at rest, exercising the patient on a treadmill for five minutes or until pain precludes continuing, then quickly laying the patient down again taking the ABI again and at periodic intervals until the ABI has returned to the beginning value. Although this test is not as rigorous as a cardiac stress test and the risk of cardiac complications is small, it is appropriate that a written protocol be established and followed with regard to exercise contraindications, methods, and response to cardiac emergency. EKG monitoring should be used if available. Some contraindications include known or questionable cardiac disease or uncontrolled angina or severe pulmonary disease. Others are an inability to ambulate at treadmill speed, ischemic rest pain, ankle pressure less than 40 millimeters, ischemic limb ulceration, or non-compressible tibial arteries. Explain the test to the patient and inform them that they will walk for five minutes or until pain stops them from continuing. Request that they tell you of the onset location and severity of pain, if any. Remind them to report any chest pain, shortness of breath, or severe fatigue. Perform an ABI as discussed in the previous section on the ABI test. For this test, the ankle pressure needs to be done using only one artery. Use whichever one is easier to find and maintain. No PVR waveforms need to be taken. Following the resting test, the patient is screened for contraindications if the patient has no contraindications, you may proceed. Set the treadmill speed to 1.5 or 2.0 miles per hour at a 10% grade, depending on the patient's mobility. Standard walking time is five minutes or until pain or other factors such as angina, shortness of breath, or fatigue limit further walking. Carefully observe the patient for distress during exercise. Do not leave the patient alone in the room. The system will keep track of times for you, but you can enter a different time if needed. If claudication occurs, note the time as well as the time of onset, severity, and total walking time. Note whether it was claudication that stopped the patient or some other cause. Immediately following exercise, return the patient to the exam table and quickly obtain ankle pressures. Start with the ankle of the most symptomatic leg, then go to the other ankle then to the arm that had the higher arm pressure. Repeat ABIs at two minute intervals until pressures return to pre-exercise levels. Post-exercise PVR waveforms may be useful and may be obtained by pressing the waveform button when the cursor is in an ankle location. A graph of pressures versus time can be created by clicking on Create Graph Box on the report. In the Notes comment section of the report, Make a note of the time of onset of claudication or other symptoms, maximal walking time, and time to recovery.